Hi, my name is Sarah Hamer. I'm a veterinarian and an epidemiologist at the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at Texas A&M University. I run a research lab focused on studying diseases that emerge at the interface of human health, wildlife health, and domestic animal health. And in particular, we study a lot of different diseases that are vector-borne, that is transmitted by blood-sucking vectors like mosquitoes or ticks or kissing bugs or fleas. And we've been spending a lot of our resources lately studying this devastating situation of canine Chagas disease. We've been funded by the American Kennel Club Canine Health Foundation over the past couple of years to get some exciting new data from the field from naturally infected dogs to learn about how they're being impacted, how they're coming in contact with the kissing bug vectors. And today I'd like to share some of those details with you. One important point to emphasize is that Chagas disease is not new in the Southern United States. We have increasing recognition. We have increased access to diagnostic tests. So we're able to test more people, test more animals, diagnose and report more cases. But the truth is that this parasite the kissing bug vectors, infected wildlife reservoirs have all been around and interacting in the southern United States for many, many years. So through our work, we have unfortunately found that there's a lot of Chagas infected dogs across the landscape. And this is not just a problem in Texas, where we've been doing most of our work, but really this can be a big problem anywhere that kissing bugs occur in the natural environment. And this is at least 27 states of the southern United States. And furthermore, this problem is not restricted to the southern U.S. because dogs, just like humans, can travel and they can bring this infection with them. So the veterinary community in all regions should be aware of this risk and what cardiac disease looks like attributed to Chagas disease and how we can get our dogs tested and screened for this parasite infection. Chagas disease has been a really exciting system to work on because it really falls well under this One Health umbrella. One Health is being the initiative where we can recognize that a lot of the causes of problems to human health are shared, you know, shared issues with animal health and dictated by the environments that we live in and that we share. And so that really makes sense to collaborate and take this holistic approach to study the pathogens that are infecting animals, the pathogens that are infecting people, because sometimes the solutions can help all of those areas.